This video provides an overview of graphics post-processing in ANSYS IcePack. The model shown here represents a VME format electronics box with 10 boards and a backplane. All boards are calibrated compact models of their detailed versions. The heat generation rate in the PCBs varies from 52 to 122 watts. The total heat generated from all the boards is 811 watts. The boards are held in place by two slotted plates that allow cooling by forced convection. The system is cooled by three axial fans modeled using the multiple reference frame technique. Flow enters and leaves the system through inlet and exhaust grills. The model has been solved and the solution is already loaded. Let's start by looking at plane cuts. To specify the location of the plane cut, I'll use the X plane through center tool. I'll call this plane cut X center. All the 3D post-processing objects can have four types of rendering. Show mesh, contours, vectors, and particle traces. There's also a transparency setting, which is controlled by a slider bar. Let's move on to vector plots. Switch on the vectors and click display. Note that by default, the color legend is set to velocity with units of meters per second. The legend also shows the global minimum and maximum values. To improve the visualization, I'll change some vector settings. I'll click on the parameters button next to show vectors to access all vector display settings. I'll choose 3D arrowheads for the arrow style. The legend shows a maximum value of about 18 meters per second. This corresponds to the solid body rotation speed of the fan blade tips. In this example, I'm interested in observing the flow vectors coming out of the fan and going through the rest of the model. Therefore, I'll limit the maximum velocity to 10 meters per second in a two-step process. First, I'll set the color levels to the specified option with minimum maximum values of 0 and 10. Next, I'll set the cutoff magnitude to 10. This will hide all vectors with magnitude greater than 10 meters per second. Apply the changes. The vector sizes can be controlled by changing the maximum pixels or specifying a suitable factor. The vector arrows are drawn at the mesh nodes. For this case, I prefer arrows that are uniformly spread on the plane rather than at mesh nodes. In the plane cut vectors panel, I'll select uniform under display options and specify a value of 3000. You can also animate the plane cut. The animation shows the plane cut moving normal to itself from the start to the end of the domain. Before finishing with plane cuts, I'll go back to the X plane through center position and specify a transparency of about 0.75. This concludes part one of the ANSYS IcePack post-processing video. In part two, I'll use object faces to create contour plots and particle traces.